Here we have a little plastic viewer that was real popular in the 70s, 80s, perhaps even the 1990s, where people would go to places like Cedar Point or any of the amusement parks, and as they were riding the roller coasters, there would be a bank of cameras that would take pictures of, of their car as they flew by. And then after the riders disembarked from the ride, they would come around to the other side of the roller coaster where they had these little viewers on sale that people could purchase that had the slide of their picture as they went flying by. So how it works basically is the person would put this end up to their eye and hold it up to the light where the light entered on this side so they could view the slide. Now I've also discovered recently that this was popular at golf tournaments where the foursomes would be photographed before they started out onto the course and uh, at the end of their golfing they would come back and photographers would have these available for purchase as well. So I had a client who just brought this in who wanted to get some prints made for some of his friends and didn't know how to do it and quite honestly I've never worked with one of these before either but with a little investigation I discovered that I can probably remove this end and find the slide that's inside. So we're going to do that right now. Basically uh, I decided to put white gloves on just so I wouldn't get fingerprints all over the slide once I finally get to that. So just basically removing the, uh, the end and here we have the slide right inside as I expected. So now we need to remove that slide so very gently and very carefully so we don't scratch the slide I'm just going to pop it out using this uh, what's called an X-Acto knife. It's one of the prime tools of uh, graphic designers. Okay, finally got it. So this is what the little slide looks like. It's very tiny. Uh, probably at least half the size of a regular 35 millimeter slide. So the next step is to take it to a high resolution scanner that I've set up to do transparencies. Now that we've gotten the slide out of the viewer, it's time to scan it. So we've got our special scanner set up that's designed to scan transparency material. So placing it into the scanner. And the next step is to actually scan. So we have all of our high resolution settings here, very high uh, DPI, and we are ready to scan. Now at this point I am going to pause this recording because this high resolution scan is going to take several minutes and we don't need to be sitting here watching as it's scanning. Alright, so our slide is done scanning. So we just need to crop it in from this large canvas that's, that's been captured by the scanner. So this is my initial crop just to get it in the ballpark and then I'm going to fine tune it in a moment. Alright, I have now moved from the laptop computer that had that scanner attached to it to my more powerful desktop that has a more advanced version of Photoshop. So here I'm going to make my adjustments on my color and my exposure. Just brightening things up here a bit. Now you can actually see the faces more clearly. Now it's time to clean up some of the dust that was on that slide. You can see the dots here that we need to clean up. So I'm going to just go ahead and do a couple for this video and then after I do a couple just so you see how this works I'm going to pause the video and, uh, and do the rest of this off camera. Now I did want to zoom in on one area that's a little bit more challenging than some of the others. We've got this scratch right up here that we need to eliminate. So I'm going to just show the beginning stages of eliminating the scratch and I will pause the video and show what it looks like when I'm all done.
All right, so I've just completed retouching the area that had the scratch on it. So here's what it looks like now, and here's what it looked like before I started. So that's the original, and that's the retouched. So here we are with our final completed restoration of this photograph. This is the after image, and this is the original image. So once again, this is the completed work, and this is what I started with out of that little viewer. Now it's time to prepare this to go off to the lab to have prints made.